So I decided to go to sleep, but I decided to do one more parenting tip. As I washed off my makeup, as I decided, you know what, sometimes as moms, we feel like we have to have the perfect makeup and the perfect hair and look like a perfect mom. But what is a perfect mom? So my parenting tip for 28 is to show your kids that you embrace imperfection. And how do they do that? To become your own best friend. So from my book, Mama's Gotta Let Go, How to Let Go Without Losing Your Sanity, I just want to read you these two short pages. How do you treat yourself? Would you like a friend to treat you the way you treat yourself? You know, being hard on yourself, being self-critical. We are so wonderful to our friends, but how are we with ourselves? We teach our children how to treat themselves by how they hear us talk to ourselves. Do they hear you scold yourself for making mistakes? I know my kids probably hear me being way too hard on myself. If you are hard on yourself, then they will learn that they should be hard on themselves whenever they make a poor decision or even the slightest mistakes. Do you cheer for yourself when you take a chance? to pursue your goals despite the obstacles that pop up? Do you take care of your body when faced with stress or nursing an illness? I mean, before I used to teach my daughters perseverance, no matter how sick you are, no matter how tired you are, you know, my dad always taught me to persevere. And then the past few years, I've learned that that is not a very healthy choice to make. When we do feel mentally strained, sometimes we have a mental health day. If we really feel sick, especially during these COVID times, I think we just really need to put our health as top priority without feeling like we're too lazy or that we're not being responsible for carrying out our duties. Show your children that it is not selfish to do small things for themselves that lift their moods. I know that sometimes, you know, I, I will hear Chelsea say, well, you know, I don't deserve that or I, I, I shouldn't um, waste my money on myself because it's not a need, it's a desire. So what I've been teaching her is sometimes, you know, it's really good to reward ourselves. It's kind of like treating ourselves to something special can really lift your spirits, especially when we have a stressful day. So we often judge ourselves, right, as being greedy or wasting money if we treat ourselves. Yet we are willing to spend, especially, you know, a lot of, of locals, we spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars on, you know, first birthday parties or sweet 16 parties or weddings. But when it comes to ourselves, we think it's a waste of money. So... Don't second guess spending money on yourself because of the overwhelming gift, especially with moms, right? You always want to save for the family or you want to save for college or you want to save, um, you know, for a rainy day. But teach your kids that sometimes it's good to treat themselves special. So our children's self-esteem will rise when they learn to be their own best friend. The last few lines of this chapter, make it a priority to treat yourself like your best friend. Model this behavior to your children so they know it's important to treat themselves with kindness and respect. And that is parenting tip number 28. Good night. Bye.